Four-stroke diesel engine. The diesel engine, named after Rudolf Diesel, is an internal combustion engine in which ignition of the fuel is caused by the elevated temperature of the air in the cylinder due to the mechanical compression. Thus, the diesel engine is a so-called compression ignition engine, or CI engine. In this engine, piston completes four separate strokes while turning the crankshaft. A stroke refers to full travel of the piston along the cylinder in either direction. In this video we will see the construction and working of diesel engine. If you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button below and turn on all notifications. So that you will never miss an update from us. Construction of four-stroke diesel engine. Four-stroke diesel engine consists of following parts. Cylinder head. The cylinder head sits above the cylinders on top of the engine block. It closes the top of the cylinder, forming the combustion chamber. Engine block. The engine block is the main supporting structure for the various components. Cylinder. It is a cylindrical vessel or space in which the piston makes a reciprocating motion. Piston. It is a cylindrical component fitted into the cylinder, forming the moving boundary of the combustion system. It fits perfectly into the cylinder, providing a gas-tight space with the piston rings and the lubricant. It forms the first link in transmitting the gas forces to the output shaft. Combustion Chamber The space enclosed in the upper part of the cylinder by the cylinder head and the piston top during the combustion process is called the combustion chamber. Inlet manifold. This pipe connects the intake system to the inlet valve of the engine and through which air is drawn into the cylinder. Is called the inlet manifold. Exhaust manifold. It connects the combustion chamber to the exhaust system of the engine and through which the product of combustion is thrown out of the cylinder. Inlet and exhaust valves. These valves are commonly mushroom shaped. They are used for regulating the charge. Incoming air into the cylinder is regulated by inlet valve. And the product of combustion going out from the cylinder is regulated by exhaust valve. Injector. The injector is the component which injects the diesel fuel into the combustion chamber and it is usually located on the cylinder head. Connecting rod. It interconnects the piston and the crankshaft and transmits the gas force from the piston to the crankshaft. The two ends of the connecting rod are called as small end and the big end small end is connected to the piston by gudgeon pin and the big end is connected to the crankshaft by crank pin. Crankshaft. It converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into useful rotary motion of the output shaft. Piston rings. It is fitted into slots around the piston, provides a tight seal between the piston and the cylinder wall, thus preventing leakage of combustion gases. Camshaft and cams. The camshaft and cams control the opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valve. Before explaining about what four strokes comprises of, we need to know what is top dead center and bottom dead center. Top dead center is the topmost position of the piston inside the cylinder, and bottom dead center is the bottommost position of the piston inside a cylinder. Four-stroke gasoline engine works on the principle of diesel cycle. The four-stroke engine comprises of First, intake stroke Second, compression stroke Third, power stroke Fourth, exhaust stroke The intake stroke In this stroke, the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center and the cycle passes from 0.0 to 1. In this stroke the intake valve is open and exhaust valve is close, while the piston pulls an air into the cylinder by producing vacuum pressure into the cylinder through its downward motion. The compression stroke. In compression stroke, the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center and the cycle passes from 0.1 to 2. In this stroke both the intake and exhaust valves are closed, therefore the air is compressed. At the end of this stroke, the pressure and temperature in the chamber is increased, and this also completes a full revolution of the crankshaft. The power stroke. In this stroke, the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center, and the cycle passes from point two to four. In this stroke, both the intake and exhaust valves are closed. At the beginning of the power stroke, the injector injects the fuel into the combustion chamber. The moment fuel enters the combustion chamber, due to high temperature of compressed air, fuel gets self-ignited, which in turn causes a very rapid combustion of fuel. 
In the stroke the piston is forced towards the crankshaft, the volume is increased, and the pressure falls, as work is done by the gas, on the piston. Exhaust stroke. The piston moves from bottom dead center, to top dead center, and the cycle passes from, point, 4, to 0. In this stroke, the exhaust valve is open, while the piston pushes and exhaust gases out of the chamber. At the end of this stroke the crankshaft has completed a second full 360 degree revolution. This is how diesel engine works. Hope you have understood the construction and working of the four-stroke diesel engine. If you liked this video, click on the like button. If you enjoyed learning from this video and want to learn from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.